Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Don here once more. So a nice, easy, or they all, they're all easy, everyone. You look at all my videos, they're all easy to make. Uh, but this especially is uh, very effective and also extremely easy to make. So we've got um, a see-through cylinder. Um, yeah, that's one part of the trick. And then we've got this sleeve that will fit over the top. That will fit over the top like so in a moment. Uh, and then we've got three balls. And um, we're told that we must put the red ball in first, and then the yellow ball, and then the blue ball. So that's what we have to do. Uh, but if we put the sleeve over the top, if I can keep my balls in one place. Uh, so if we put the sleeve over the top and we do the same thing, we put the red ball in first and then the yellow ball and then the blue ball. And if we reveal, we see that the colored balls are all out of order. OK, so that's it. That's all there is to the trick. Um, Maybe a little more on the uh, children's uh, party kind of um, circuit, if you like, rather than uh, um, a Las Vegas stage. Uh, but uh, you know what I mean. It's, it's a nice, easy, simple little trick. Uh, and like I say, easy to make. So uh, if we get on with the video, then I'll show you how to make it, what to do, how it works. And... Uh, in the meantime, if you don't mind, please subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you click the all button, you'll be informed when I post new uh, videos. OK, so let's get on with the video then and we'll see how it's done. So unless you buy this magic trick from a magic shop, then it's not that glaringly obvious how to actually make it. Uh, although it's a very simple, easy trick to do and to make, uh, well, to do, <laughs> not that glaringly obvious how to make. Okay, so it's quite easy, I think, to find these colored plastic balls because uh, a, a lot of toy shops sell sell balls like this for, for ball, <laughs> ball pit balls. So these are readily available. Uh, but to, to get um, a see-through tube for them to fit into, uh, not quite so easy, so we're going to have to make our own. So we need the diameter of the ball. And the only way, really, I think, of doing it is putting two... Obviously, your balls might not be the same. If you'll excuse the expression, your balls not might, might not be the same as mine. So if we just measure across there, that will give you the diameter of your ball. OK? So once we've got that, then cut out two discs. Uh, yes, you've guessed it, two millimeter cardboard. And I've got some of this, um, <laughs> if I can find it, uh, some of this acetate paper. Uh, it's, it's used in, uh, it, you buy an A4 size sheets and it's for printing purposes. Okay, so it's a see-through acetate. So now we've got the size of our diameter of the ball and, and these discs are just a fraction bigger because it, it actually, it's actually quite a tight tolerance when you put balls into a cylinder like that because if it's too big then the ball will fall to one side and it, and it won't look right. Okay, so it's got to be a quite, quite a tight tolerance. So, so I'm just losing all my balls here. Uh, so with the acetate, if you just put a, a, a dab of hot melt glue right on the end, like that, and then fold this round, and it'll overlap by a couple of inches, 55 centimetres or so. Uh, not easy, <laughs> as you can see. But once we've got that tacked around the base like that, obviously we don't want the other disc um, gluing in, but we can put it in at the top and then just oh, make, 
Make a like a spot weld with the hot melt glue at the top and maybe in the middle. And that will then give us the right size see-through cylinder for your particular balls. I think I've explained that reasonably well. I think you know what I mean. Uh, and it's got to be enough, obviously, for three balls to, to uh, fit into. OK, so I'll go ahead and make my see-through cylinder for the three balls. And then we need... Uh, an outside box that people can't see through. So this is going to be the, the height of four balls. So what, however, whatever diameter what one is, then you need four plus a little bit. So that's the height of my uh, outside carcass box. And again, this is just fractionally bigger than the uh, disc. Uh, and I'll make this up into a box. There'll be no top or bottom on it, obviously. Um, and that will basically be the, the trick done. Um, so I'll go ahead and, and make that and make that. And when I come back, it will hopefully be a little more obvious. <laughs> OK, so got my see-through tube all finished. And the three balls will sit in there quite nicely now. Uh, and then the outside sleeve as well. That's all done. That will sit over the top like that. In fact, it's it's quite a it's a bit, little bit too tight actually. So I just put this stand on the bottom so I can put my fingers on there just to lift it up. Okay, so that's uh, basically it. Uh, and it occurred to me I, I haven't actually <laughs> shown you how to do the trick. <laughs> uh, I thought I suppose I ought to do that. So two thin pieces of card and uh, I, I shall bend them, uh, mark halfway and then bend them slightly and then sit that in the top there and glue the, the top half. So where that's bent, glue that part and stick that in there and this will ease just slightly upward like that and do that both sides so that when you put the second blue ball in it will it won't fall through it will just sit in the top like that it'll stay there but when you put another ball in or what will look like the first ball <laughs> when that goes in then that will push the blue ball down and then the red ball will stay there so that, that's the premise then of the trick. That's why they're, they're not the colours that you, um, your audience thinks that you put them in. <laughs> oh, I think, I, did that explain it? I don't know. Um, if, again, I'll do it, put those in, and then uh, I'll explain it properly when I've finished completely. Uh, spray it black as usual. Uh, put these glittery bits all the way around to make it look a bit nicer and then I've just cut these three discs out the same colors uh, as the balls that we're going to put through and then put those on there like that or like a traffic light uh, and then that will be it that's uh, that's the whole thing done so again I'll go ahead finish it all off now come back and uh, we'll give it a go OK, so we've got our sleeve looking a little bit lovelier now and put those discs on the front like so. And then inside the, those thin pieces of card, uh, I sprayed it black so that you can't see it. And now I can't find it. <laughs> uh, but there is, if, if I just, you can see that flap flapping like that and just that little bend in the cardboard will stop the uh, ball going through. Uh, but when you push, I have to go up a bit. When you push the red ball in, then the blue ball will come out. OK, so that's that's basically the premise of the trick. And then we've got the, the red ball stuck in there. <clears throat> OK, and then with our see-through cylinder, um, I, I did like spot weld it on the back side there 
and it's it's as good it's as good as it uh, can be or as good as I can make it anyway and it's the right size for the balls which is the main thing uh, so then what you do is load a blue ball or whatever color in there and then show that the red ball must go in first and then the yellow ball and then the blue ball that's uh, the order of things so put that over the top and we put the red ball and then the yellow ball and then the blue ball and lo and behold it's blue red and yellow there we are <laughs> um, okay maybe a little more for kids than uh, than an adult trick but uh, effective nonetheless uh, and if you don't know how to do it it's a small miracle <laughs> okay so i'll leave it with you have a go making yourself nice and easy this one just a box and a, um, a see-through cylinder that's all so uh, again thanks for watching the video please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video which we will be coming up soon uh, and until then it's bye for now.